dun, 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 dun. Breaking news from the Nicole and Greg show. I was going to say breaking news. Thanks right, for stealing ahead. my thunder. Whatever. Uh, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Breaking news. No, just kidding. Get off my coattails. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Although he did come up with a show mostly by himself. I'm not going to lie. It's fine. Uh, it's, it's fine. Trust me, you'll know once we get through all five of these, you're going to be like, yeah, I understand Craig came up with those. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right. I hope you're having a great Friday. We missed you. We this did. is our first show in 2021, right? Yeah, it is. Do you miss, you miss the audience too? I did. We only have one live viewer now because we haven't been on in so long. I know. It's been, what, two, three weeks? Two Something weeks. Something like that. Something like that. Two weeks. No, well, maybe three. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Well... Hey, happy, hey, happy Brad. Friday to you See, too, how did I know that was our live viewer right and, there? And happy new year to all of you. Um, you know, we're excited to, to bring the show back. We, and we got some great shows lined up this year that we're going to make up right before we do them. <laughs> so, that being said, hope you guys are having an awesome new year. We collectively, a lot of people thought 2020 really sucked. Um, it was a tough year. Um, oh, it's, it's, it's sad because a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people that passed away too. Yeah. Happy new year, Jeff. Um, but 2021 already is so much better than 2020, at least work-wise anyway. Here, Brad, make a meme out of this. I know that's Blaine. Blaine does that. Oh, does he? Yeah, Blaine is the one that does that, not he Brad. He does a goofy eyes and yeah, two thumbs does, up? Yeah, he does the meme. Oh, no, oh, oh, no. Brad, Brad does that too. I see what Brad you're saying. Does, yeah. I got you. I got Blaine you. Blaine makes our memes. Yeah. Blaine makes our... All right, well, Blaine, make a meme then too. There all you right? go. Go back 10 seconds, make a meme for me. It's goofy. All right, so... I know what you guys are all thinking. What's the topic for today, Craig? Just get to it already, right? Yeah. Now, this one is going to be for you parents out there. What are we doing right now, parents? We're doing a lot of e-learning, right? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I'm so sorry for everybody. Whatever. You don't have any room to be sorry at all. You're like, I got one in college and one that's like a senior. I don't well, know what he does. Neil does most of the work for our brokerage. And when Neil's got a home, and Neil's at home with e-learning with his children, it, it stresses them out, and there's a lot of extra work. And he's got to make sure they do all, all their work. Yeah, so, that's Neil, not yeah. you. That's well, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but then when Neil can't get certain things done, I got to do them. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yes, one of the tips I was going to say, you know, I'll give you our number six bonus tip. Have your kids 17 years ago, <laughs> and then they just kind of do their own thing. I think he's doing uh -huh. e-learning. I don't know. You're like, whatever. Yeah, he gets a report card. It's got some letters on it. I think we're fine. Maritza, her mind's blown right now. Yeah, because she's at <laughs> home. I had to do one of her closings today because she was doing e-learning at home. Well, Maritza, and this is going to be excellent, excellent tips for you today. You're going to be, you're, you're just going to love this, right? Yep. Okay. So we already talked about number six, of course, is have your kids a long time ago and then you don't have to worry about them needing to <laughs> That's Craig's great bonus tip. Wink, wink. Bonus. Jason Farner. Hey, I went to high school with Jason and middle school and elementary school. Good dude. How's it going, Jason? Thanks for watching. Give us some good stories, Jason. Oh, no, don't make... Yeah, he's, he's... I don't know. We don't have that much dirt on each other. It's so old. Uh -huh. But maybe I ate paste in, uh, <laughs> you know, in art class in elementary <laughs> school or something. So anyway, okay. So our number five tip is going to be, it'll help you to have consistent routines. I mean, kids go through, you know, you build a habit of, you know, waking up every day and doing stuff, you know. So I think keeping a consistent routine is very important. Yeah. Thanks to Jackie Slavin for that recommendation, by the way. Yeah, I think... Great real estate agent. She is. I think most um, teachers and whatnot are kind of making them do that. But I've noticed, like, even when they were on break recently and we didn't stick to, like, even just breakfast, lunch, and dinner, my kids were not nice. They were not nice over break. They were not nice. No. No, I did not want to repeat that again. So making them be consistent in their routines because you're like, eh, whatever. Mm, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, I think, I think having a consistent routine can become a habit, and habits are easier to deal with. Yes, yeah. very much so. Positive You know what to anyway. expect. Kids like routines, actually. Yeah. Even though they say kids they don't. They really do. Yeah. And my sons, I did spank them when they were little. And that Is helped. that what we're going to talk know, about? Boys wanted, boys wanted solid discipline, too. Yeah. Or well, that's what I offered, so that's what they got. Now we're going to talk about parenting tips? I thought this was just e-learning. Parenting tips on the next Nicole and Craig show. There's don't no, think it's going to happen. No spanking anymore. We're not allowed to do that. I'd do it anyway. I'm sure you would 17 years Although ago. Although now he, my sons are 17 and 18. If I try to hit them, they could probably hit me back. Probably. But I haven't hit them in years, so. So. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this, this show is going off the, the rails today, The statute of limitations guys. is I don't over, know. so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so anyway. anyway. <laughs> It's, it's a good Friday show, folks. Okay, so number four is going to be exercise. You know, there's a reason why schools have recess for children. 
it is better for them to work out some of that uh, energy, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. My nephew, he's bouncing around the room all the time. It is awesome. I love that kid's energy. He's, he's adorable. Yeah, you don't love that for e-learning, though, let me tell you. So making sure that, like, because my girls are like, can I just have iPad time? Can I just have? No. You need to get your butt outside, get your snow pants on, and go out, make some snowballs, throw something, do whatever. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent, excellent. Those are good things. That's what I used to do. I call it the wild goose chase. If my kids were maybe asking me an irritating amount of questions, all of you parents with toddlers and, you know, uh -huh. in that, that range from like four to seven, you know what I'm talking about. But when in that range, I'd be like, okay, go to your room and go get me something orange, you know, and then they would. And then like, but it was always like, it would, it would keep them occupied running down the hall, coming back, you know, and I'll go downstairs and get this, you know, and stuff like that. So it was like, it was a good way to burn off some of that extra energy and, and it worked. My kids are going to write a book like the worst dad ever by <laughs> Craig's son. Uh, what's up? Happy Jessica? Friday, Kish. So, uh, so anyway, so yeah, so number three, let's move on to number three. What do you think? I think we so. covered. Oh, yeah. by the way, there was a study done and bonus oh, points if anyone knows this study, but it was about research or a recess for children. And they did a study where, you know, usually when you were a kid, if you were in trouble at school, you were punished. You would not get recess. Yes, I hate that. Yeah. Oh, well, my gosh. Uh, that is That does not fly with me as a parent. Nope. Yep. That is counterproductive. The kids that have recess are typically well be, more well-behaved and, you know, act a little bit better. Yes. So, there you have it. Someone knows the name of that study, they can uh, post in the comments and you'll get a bonus point. Bonus point will be a live high five from Nicole Hansen the next time you see her. All right? Uh, no, a hug. A hug. A hug. <laughs> Don't say that. Michelle's gonna I'm get all Michelle's gonna get all upset. Uh, <laughs> no, that was funny. Not. Someone came up and hugged Nicole at a uh, at a one of our things, and they were just like, "I watch your show every week, and I hope if she's watching, I, I already said her name was Michelle, but I won't say her last name." It was funny. It was awesome. I think we talked about it before. But... Yeah, we still. We oh still my gosh, Michelle. you could tell he has not done the show for two weeks. Oh my gosh, quit talking. Move on. All right, all right. Number three. Okay, now this one is a little bit harder for everyone to accomplish, possibly, but maybe a nanny. Consider maybe getting hiring a nanny or, you know, this is a new career field that could come out as like e-learning assistants, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, what else did I, I was also going to put, yeah, family, or even reach out to your local daycare centers and find out maybe if they have short-term openings for they can have another kid and they will handle the e-learning process for you. I don't know that I'm surprised we have not seen e-learning centers open up where they can start handling some of that. I think it's just COVID still, you know what I mean? So I think people are just, I think there's some daycares are still open, all that good stuff. Um, but Kish is going with my number six tip. <laughs> yeah. Good Thanks job, Kish. Jessica. It's not helpful. It I got, works. I got twin eight year olds. You can come, you can come e-learn with them. Yeah, any it works, day you works want. for us. Um, but the good thing is, I think everybody's more prepared for e-learning this time around. So at least with my kids, because they're a little bit older. My nose looks pointy. What? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. This show is all about Craig today. <laughs> I mean, really? Uh-huh. You guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> but even we enlisted my aunt's help to start coming twice a week, pick the kids up, doing that kind of stuff. Um, so that we can get kind of a break and a stress relief kind of thing. So that... You know, anything you can do, an aunt, uncle, cousin, whatever, right now, you know, it's all about, you know, using your village to raise your children right now, for sure. And I think maybe reach out to your school boards and stuff like that. I mean, I think it should be an organized, because here's the problem. If people start doing what I'm saying and, and start taking things into their own hands and taking care of that, are you really going to need to pay all that money for school and stuff like that? You know, I don't know. Yeah, you will. Well, I love teachers. I do too. They're but I'm just saying Maybe well, we should get teachers together and do like an e-learning thing because it's, mean? it's tough. Like even, you know, like my, my nephew, he's, he's, I don't know how old he is, maybe six or seven. He's like kindergarten or first grade. And like, you know, he doesn't know how to get, you know, log into zoom and get all this stuff, yeah. you know, so a parent's got to go and do all that. But the parents are also trying to work and some jobs are very time consuming and things like that. It's tough. It's difficult. My heart goes out to you guys. No, oh, yeah. He, I can empathize with you. March, April, May? Nope. I wasn't working till at least the afternoon when they got done with school and everything else. Now, it's much better. The school taught the kids how to do it like they knew it was coming. I do feel bad for the schools, though, that haven't gone at all. Um, at least ours has. Um, but for those that have not gone at all, I, I 
feel for you, for real. Yeah, maybe even if you got, if you're fortunate enough to have a grandparent that, you know, that can can take like all the nieces and nephews together and ha have them show them how to do it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, you know, anyway, that's it. I think we beat number three to death. Yeah, we did. Moving on. Numero dos, dos equis, uh, Homeschool in the evening. Th this is another one of those. What's up, Kevin Thompson? Um, homeschool in the evening. Now, this one's a little tougher one. I Nothing against homeschooling. I don't think, first of all, you could probably, the kid will probably learn more from book stuff because they can learn at their pace. You can you can teach them more faster and stuff like that. So I don't think homeschooling is bad. However, I think the social education you get in public school or or in a larger school atmosphere is very powerful. I think it's very, you know, we know how, to, we need to know how to be good neighbors with each other. You know, we're real estate agents. We work with other real estate agents all the time. You gotta be able to play nice with other people in the sandbox. Yeah. So homeschool in the evening, I think the point of that for e-learning is so that you can go to your job during the day and homeschool the kids at night um, so that you can work it around your schedule. I know there were definitely some people that chose to do homeschooling for this exact reason because they didn't want to go through what they did again earlier. I'm hoping we're close to the end of this. Um, but this kind of brings us to our number one, which is my favorite way to get through homeschooling. Hold on, we're not done. We're oh, not yes, done with homeschooling or taking yet. learning, I mean. Another oh, thing too. What? There's some a lot of great teachers you might be able to, even if your kids are in public school right now, you might be able to talk to their teacher and their teacher might be like, hey, you know what? That's fine. If it's too hard to get on during the day, you can do stuff in the evening and just, you know, I'll give you a list of the things that are required. And, you know, so you talk, talk to your children's teacher as well. Okay. Now, King Craig, are we allowed to go to number one now? Go ahead. Can we do that? Go ahead. Go ahead, <laughs> Hanson. You, you go ahead and do this one. But Whatever. yes, our number one tip and I'll tell you what, I don't, I'm not even going to preface this with saying this one's a joke, kind of, because it is, but it's not. But if you get your parenting tips from the Nicole and Craig show, <laughs> you know what? Shame on you to begin with, you know? So whatever. Anyway, go I ahead. Think, what do you got, Hanson? I think most people enjoy doing this right now during the pandemic anyway. Alcohol. Drinking. Some, some form of way. By or the way, this is just coffee. Whatever it's, your it's vice just, is. It's just coffee. Eating sweets. Alcohol. Uh, whatever it is. Sweets. You gotta you eat can't what you got it. You can't you can't drink a glass of Jolly Ranchers, you know, like that doesn't work. No, you don't have to drink that, but I'm saying you could eat sweets, you could drink alcohol, you could do whatever whatever your vice is. Great, everyone's gonna be overweight alcohol. Give in to the now. vice right now. <laughs> this is the time to do it. That's all I have hey, to Nicole. say. Hey Nicole. Yeah, see yeah, we're just gonna have a bunch of, you know, crazy sweet tooth, you know, drunks now. Hey, there's nothing wrong with sweet tooth. I, I like my sweets, I really do. I don't. Just because you don't doesn't mean that the rest of the world doesn't. You're like the 10% that doesn't like sweets. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're okay. I just don't crave them. Mm, I wish Cynthia. I did. Cynthia! Cynthia! What's up? You missed all the good stuff, Cynthia. You did. You missed all the jokes, Cynthia. Yep. You missed him talking for like 20 minutes, and I, I just have to sit here and listen so I can get like two words in. Truth. Just saying. Look, I'm not saying anything. Where's the show going? Nowhere. <laughs> Shut up. I think that's it. That's all we have for today. E-learning, we feel for you. Well, I feel for you. I empathize with you because it's happening to me as well. This one is just like, thank God my kids are older and I don't have to deal with it. Um, so that's about where we're at with the Nicole and Craig. Hey, Tracy. Uh, I would say, too, as an additional thing, Probably alcohol is counterproductive because it's 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 going to hurt you in the long run a little well, bit. Well, we're not saying drink during your kids' classes, but we are saying to saying. use it for stress management. That's what I was saying. Oh, that is not what I was saying. Um, but I think, you know, meditate a little bit. Hey, Jen. Um, you know, do some meditation, get some exercise. All that's going to help you too. Oh, Neil. <laughs> Neil says e-learning is great. Can you guys, is there a hey, sarcasm Neil never, font? <laughs> Neil never watches this show because, you know, because I, I talk about him half the time. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, busted. Now my face is getting all red. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> what did I say about Neil in this video? Yeah. No, actually, I don't always say good things about Neil. Neil's awesome. You Neil's say awesome. say good things about Neil yeah. in this video. I couldn't do what I do without Neil. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. So, Neil's fantastic. But I, are, I, are that's, you okay now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. All righty then. Anywho. Oh, Neil's if, calling me. He's, he's wanting an apology <laughs> right now. No, no I'm just kidding. Not. Hey, All right. we need ideas for shows. What do you guys want to see outside of the box stuff? He always wants to do the same boring stuff we've already done. Um, we also need guest stars. Reach out. Just saying, for the record. That's his job to have us a guest once a month. He did not do that in 2020. So. Uh, corona. 
Whatever. We could have done it on Zoom. Fake news. <laughs> I don't know, just buzzwords from 2020. But I know next week, what show are we doing next week? We know for sure. What is it? Oh, I think we're going to do forms next week. We're going to do forms. It's going to be so much fun. The forms changes. How exciting. Forms changes. That's that's always a real a real page turner. A real page turner. But yep. Yep. it's a necessary evil. So, well, not evil. I guess I shouldn't say it that way. But necessary update. Yeah. There we go. All right. All right. That's all I got. That's all we got. Happy Friday, everyone. Have a great week. Have a good weekend. Happy New Year. Yes. Uh, we missed you and we love you. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Yeah. All right. Have all right. Bye, week. guys. Bye-bye. Really? Is that what we're going to do today? Yeah. Different committee. What? We didn't end the show yet. I know, but I don't know why she's saying different committee. You know what? What if we did, but we just really just sit here and face the this direction the whole time? This is... <laughs> Everybody knows we didn't end the show. This is for the bloopers that uh, anyone's putting together for us. No, because we still have to watch what we're saying right now. We are watching what we're saying right now. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Well, that the bloopers would not be don't a blooper have to be all curse words. No, but yeah. they're kind of funnier if they are. I don't, I don't curse that much. No, that's true. Yeah, a I little would bit. not say the same about me, but yeah, she's a terrible mouth, <laughs> potty mouth for Whatever. sure. Whatever. Yep. Nope. Talk oh, about. Oh, talk about Ganier's committees. Oh, oh we can do that. Ganier's got a ton of committees. Oh, that's her suggestion for the show. I get it now, Skipper. Gosh, sorry. A little slow on the uptake today. Sorry, Jen. Ooh, you're gonna be late for your next appointment. Ah, oh, crap. I got to work. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys.